Hello everyone, this is Beyond the Chameleons, and today we'll be talking about can you feed your chameleons hornworms in, wait, is it upside down? Oh, no it's not, it's just not going to show the, in the right direction. But we'll be talking about whether you can feed these worms to your chameleons or not. Now, this is all information I got from the channel called Neptune the Chameleon, and I personally, re personally recommend you check out that channel if you're interested in seeing more chameleon content. I'm just here to spread the information, so don't sue me. So we're gonna start off with number one. Should you feed it? How many should you feed? So based on the wide, the width of their eyes is how long the hornworm should be and how many you should feed is like for um, juvenile chameleons like ours, like Grumpy Joe and Skinny Mini, like this big. Um, you can one or two a day, I guess. Um, earlier I fed Grumpy Joe just one big one, so I, that could just count for two, just put into one. But for Skinny Mini, I gave him two small hornworms because he's a bit smaller than Grumpy. So for number two, um, can you really feed them when they are pupating? And actually, they hornworms are hawk moths, and they look very freaky to me. Um, they're black. They're just creepy. I do not like them. Um, but can you feed them while they're in their cocoon? I would say no. You should just rather feed the actual worm, hornworm itself, and, or um, feed the hawk moth. And remember... Only feed it if they are bigger than it. If not, they're going to have a hard time chewing it. And just like hornworms, silkworms are also pretty squishy. They're squishy enough, so not unlike mealworms, I used to feed them. I used to feed my chameleons mealworms, and now I learned that you shouldn't. So actually, no, I do not anymore. But you can feed silkworms and hornworms to your chameleons. Um, they have a bit of fat. Well, hornworms have a lot of fat. But at least they're gonna be squishy and will not have will not give your chameleons a hard time to ingest. And for also um hydration, yeah, they have hornworms have a lot of juices in them, which is good for your chameleons. Nutrition pretty good, and that goes same with silkworms. Um, man, can I think of any more reasons to talk about for hornworms? Oh yeah, and a small story. Actually, when I bought my silkworms, just like earlier today, <laughs> when I opened the case, they were already pupating, and I'm not a big fan of moths, but I can, I'll can. i give them to the chameleons already. So those are probably, oh yeah, small tip. You're always gonna, like this hornworm case here, it's, you're not gonna really be able to see where they are because I fed a little bit, a little a lot. And there's one like right down there. Where is it? Oh, who cares about that? But you should keep the case upside down like this and rather not this. So when the hornworms poop, actually, you can just open the case like this. Right now, there's no poop on it because they haven't eaten much yet and then you can just easily dump it in the trash can and do would you would i recommend um feeding worms to your chameleons when they are in an early age well my chameleons aren't really that early in age yeah but you should really feed them to baby chameleons because hornworms grow exceptionally very fast like, I'm saying very fast. Like, one hornworm can go t can grow twice the size it was two days later. Like, I've heard uh, stories like, um, someone tried to feed, um, oh my god. Someone tried to feed a hornworm. No, no. Someone got hornworms for their baby chameleon, and then they grow so big that the chameleon wasn't able to eat them. And then he had to throw it in the garbage. And he said it was very dramatic. Um, so, I think that's what the information that I have right now. Remember, this is on information from Neptune the Chameleon on YouTube. I will, sh um, and I will be making more future videos soon. Bye!